ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Langley on the Great Western Main Line. As I'm speeding this intro up because there's a train approaching. Good as if you uh, remember that episode of Trains Are. Four We're working. Oh dear, I'm knocking everything. Uh, one hour for seventeen. The fourteen hundred Great Western Railway service from Bristol Temple Meads to London Paddington. So, uh, as you can see, the weather is a lot brighter than it was at Southall, despite time having advanced about fifteen minutes. Yeah, it was one of those flash storms. It, like, we left uh, Hayes and Harlington and it was baking hot. Not just in the train, but, you know, you could, you could see the sun rays. And now bar. Oh, I was zoomed in. Yeah. I was zoomed in and, uh, yeah. So that's 59201. Again, no freight. So I don't know where that's going to. All I know is 59201. And I didn't get to step it. Oh well. Uh, so, Langley. I am way more impressed with this station in terms of train spotability than uh, I was with Southall. And I will probably be more impressed still with Slough, because apparently that's really good. Uh, apart from uh, Chris Farley. And if you're in any of the Facebook groups, you'll know what that means. You yeah, not like train spotters one and it's not that. Seems to think they're terrorists. Yes, he goes that far, and then he does not give a reason why he suspects that. Which I do believe is called... Uh, I don't know what that would be. Falsely accusing someone of a crime they'd never commit. I don't know. We have a thing approaching. <laughs> On 1 Delta 29, the 1404, Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Oxford. And, uh, I don't know what this is, but, you know, be aware. And which is 19 glorious years nameplate. I think that is actually one after 17. The 1400 Great Western Railway service from Bristol Temple Meads to London Paddington. Falling at Bath Spa, Chippenham, Did Swindon, Didcot Parkway, Reading and London Paddington. So, um, services today will be provided by Great Western Railway only and freight. The Great Western Railway for passengers only. Let me try, let me try that again. Passenger services and regular time services that I have codes for and stuff will be, will be run by Great Western Railway only and freight services that will just spring up on us will be run by DB Schenker, DB Cargo Rail, Freight Diner, GBRF and a slight chance of Colas Rail. Basically, a bit of everything in terms of freight, and a bit of one, a lot of one company in terms of passenger usage. But it's a lot of one company, and just very varied here. But no three at seven. Actually, yep, no three eight sevens here, from what I know. There should be some at Slough though. 
because slough, uh, the last bits of slough will be shot in the evening peak. So there, there are three eight sevens. There are three eight sevens running peak time services from London Paddington to Maidenhead because the electrification hasn't quite reached Reading yet. So, with that out of the way, we will see what will show up here at Langley on the Great Western Main Line. I just noticed something this confused me about Langley. Uh, there's more space on the side of the fence, um, on the side where fast trains are, than there is on the side where slow trains are, I think. It'll be the other way around, because you'd want lots of space for passengers. No. Uh, Ivor, actually, is pretty good for that. Uh, with Ivers, they've pushed it right up. They've, they've pushed the fence right up at Ivor. Uh, not here. And not at Slough either, because Slough doesn't have a fence. Which is where, kind of why I want to go. Because you saw we got a few 125 mile an hour passes at uh, Southall. Uh, we'll be getting loads of those in both directions at Slough. In fact, I will be coming back on HST. I don't know if I said this at Southall. But I'll be coming back on HST. Uh, oh. Running one, two Romeo 41, the 1408 Great Western Railway Service from London Paddington to Reading. Next stop for that will be Burnham. No. No, it's going to be Slough. Uh, yeah, knowledge of the route, you know. Uh, so yeah, uh, with that we will see what's next year at Langley. And now getting ready to pass by <coughs> is 1 Charlie 17, the 1412 Great Western Railway Service from Bristol Temple, from London Paddington to Bristol Temple Mew. If you want of an HSC, you get his numbers after it's passed. Even though they've only got MTU engines, those are brilliant sounds. I mean, especially compared with the noises that my local trains make. Whoosh being the most commonly used sound on my local route. Right, we are waiting on a slightly delayed service from Worcester Fallgate Street, but apart from that, all's well. All is well in happy town. But I, I'm happy now that the weather's all cleaned up. Because it was bad for a few minutes. It was real bad for a few minutes. Oh, and now getting ready to pass by. Is uh, one of Papa 47 the 1416 Great Western Railway Service? For, uh, well, I'll get this one in a moment. Right, and I think I can see, yes, I can see the Worcester Fallgate Street train, so I'll get that uh, turbo in a moment. This is one Papa 47, the 1414 Great Western Railway service from Worcester Fallgate Street to London Paddington.
that is formed of 180-104. Right, the, uh, the service that just passed was T Papa 53 1418 Great Western Railway service from Reading to London Paddington. Next off of that will be Hayes and Harleton, I think. And now getting ready to pass by is one Lima 55, the 1416 Great Western Railway service from Swansea to London Paddington, I think. Yes, it is. Oh, I see. I see something that is rather nice on the front. Oh, I need to get a good picture of it. Oh, it's rumbling away quite nicely. And also getting ready to pass by is, oh, it's arrived here, even, is 2 November 42, the 1422 Great Western Railway Service from London Paddington to Oxford. It is formed of a turbo. One of the ones soon to move out to Bristol and the Seven Valley, where they will not be the tenth turbos anymore, but the seven turbos. If that makes sense. Right, to as four four six five one six five one one eight says idles away, getting ready to depart. Um off to Oxford with two of them forty two, the fourteen twenty two Great Western Railway service to Oxford. Um, I will do, I will start doing uh, trip recaps again because uh, I stopped for a while, but I will be building them in to somewhere in the middle of the last station of the day. There's four four one six five one one eight headed off to Oxford. It's next stop of Slough. Um, so I'll be building in the trip recap into the, sort of the middle of the last episode of this uh, trip. And there will be separate recaps for series endings. So when I finish the North Kent Line series at Lewisham, I will do a series recap from there. <coughs> oh dear me. Um, so look forward to that. Um, look forward to me eventually reaching Lewisham. There aren't too many stations to go. Um, uh, I've got to film Belvedere because uh, my phone decided it wanted to die. Uh, literally die. Uh, by the time I got halfway through Erith because the rain was getting so bad. So I'll be doing Belvedere and after that I well I'll be doing Belvedere, Abbeywood and Plumstead in the same trip. Then I will be doing Woolwich Arsenal, Woolwich Dockyard and Charlton. <coughs> and then I think it's just Blackheath and Lewisham. Uh, somewhere in that I will or somewhere in that or after that, separate to the series but you can still count it as the North Kent Line series because it's North Kent Line, if you want to. Uh, I will be putting them in the North Kent Line series playlist, uh, as well as the Transat playlist. Um, I'll be doing the three London Termini that are served by North Kent Line services, which are London Bridge, London Waterloo East, and London Charing Cross. I know London Waterloo East isn't much of a terminus. It's like four platforms and it just nothing really terminates there. 
but it's still technically a London terminus. Network for our account is a terminus, therefore it's a terminus. <coughs> so, lots of stuff to look forward to. The North Kent Line series is almost done. I'm really happy. Not I'm I'm really happy about that. Not because I want to get the North Kent Line over and done with, but because I would have completed the entire North Kent Line. So you'll have videos up to my somewhat questionable quality on the North Kent Line. Just all the way to Lewisham. And I won't be doing New Cross and St John's. That'll be part of something else. Uh, maybe just like a general thing like this. Because this isn't part of the series. This is just me going out having fun. Um, so, I don't know. But look forward to that. And I can't wait. It's going to be a great year. Uh, so far it has been a great year. Uh, we've passed 50 episodes of Trains Out. We've passed 100 subscribers. we passed 50 subscribers in the same year as well. Uh, it's been a brilliant year so far. And at the time of filming this, it's only early August. So I see no reason why this big like explosion that we've been getting over the past few months should stop. So, look forward to better quality videos sometime in November, because I will be getting a new phone, which is where I used to record videos. Uh, the quality of the stills, which are on my Flickr, um, will be the same, because new ca no new camera, unfortunately. I want to get a new camera, and it's just started raining again. Brilliant. Not too badly, though. Not too badly, though, it must be said. In fact, I'm going to unplug my phone. The new charging port is a very, very tight. So, uh, yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to. I'm really pleased with what's happened, what's been happening with the channel. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm really happy with what's been happening with the channel. It's absolutely amazing. <coughs> Absolutely amazing to see the support. Everything has been really good so far. And I see no reason why that should stop. Um, and I'll just keep doing what I love and you guys will hopefully keep watching it. And hopefully my blend of professionalism and enthusiasm isn't too cheesy. Uh, people that do professionalism and enthusiasm really well in the same mix. Uh, <laughs> I'm shouting people out now. Uh, Tornado922, he's really professional. Uh, he's got quite an enthusiasm as well. Really positive, enthusiastic train spotter. Uh, JD the train spotter's less of a uh, train, less uploader. Like he doesn't upload as much now. Uh, he's uh, finished his trains that series, which is unfortunate. But he will still be uploading uh, videos uh, on trains, and he is a very, very professional train spotter, and he has the enthusiasm for it as well. Right. Uh, I appear to have uh, filled space for the next train, which is to Papa 54, 1428. First trip. Wow. Great Western Railway service to London Paddington from Oxford. This will be calling at either West Street and Hayes and Harlington, probably Southall, Ealing Broadway, and Hayes and Harlington. Not Hayes and Harlington, London Paddington. <coughs> oh dear. This wet weather is giving me a dry cough. Because I'm a paradox, I guess. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited for the future of the channel. I hope you are as well. Uh, oh yeah, I was doing my shout-outs, wasn't I? Tornado92, uh, as I say, JD the train spotter, although he's not uploading as much as he used to. Uh, what is there is really good, though. And we have passing. Lovely noise. On when Charlie 84, the 14, the rather delayed 1419. 
Great Western Railway service from London to Paddington to Penzance. And this service from Oxford is now departing. Uh, it is the unit I got into Southall for 165 or 112. That's nice. Very rare to see, actually. So, anyway, shout out. <laughs> uh, it's 1092. Uh, yeah, I have to backtrack because my memory's that poor. Uh, daily train spot doesn't upload much now, but what's there is really good. Um, I can't think of any more. Yeah, there's, there's loads more. There's loads of good train spotters out there. KTV videos is one. Uh, the Great Westerners are also a, a good pair to watch. <coughs> oh dear me. Yeah, the Great Westerners are a good pair to watch. Uh, I'm sure there's loads of banter. I mean, I actually haven't watched an episode of the Great Western of the Great Westerners yet. But I, I just know it's going to be good. Uh, Katie Vivians, if I haven't said him already, he's brilliant, he's professional, he's, he's also huge. And he covers a lot of the UK. At the time of recording this, he's about to go to Manchester. From Plymouth. That's this level of journey I could never even imagine, let alone undertake. I just get bored at Birmingham. Maybe not even. Oh, and getting ready to pass through now. Is there... One Alpha 18, the slightly de the uh, eight minutes delayed Great Western Railway service from small from Bristol Temple Mills. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eight four. I couldn't get what was on the uh, passing service on the down direction. Passing service in the down direction was one Bravo 42 to 1427 Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Cardiff Central. That one we'll be calling additionally at Slough today. Uh, it's the, the Herefords are not stopping at Slough for some reason. The Herefords are normally the ones that do it. <coughs> yeah, but uh, they're not doing that today. It's the Cardiff Centrals that are doing it. Uh, HST in the up direction was uh, Bristol Temple Meads uh, to Paddington. Uh, in the down direction was London Paddington to Carter Central. So, uh, we will see what's next here at Langley. I'm going to finish my shout outs because I'm just rambling on way too much. I, I should probably stop. But before you guys get bored to death. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll see what's next year at Langley on the Great Western Main. I'm really happy with how today's going, even though it rained really hard. <coughs> oh dear me. It stopped raining again. No, it hasn't. It's, it's just slowed down again. This weather is seriously some of the most confusing weather I've ever been train spotting in, and that's saying something. Also, uh, no one's actually said this yet. Um, but I have a feeling that some of my fan base are not British and wouldn't have a clue what any of this is. Oh, uh, there should be videos uh, from, uh, whenever I go to America, because uh, I've got family in America. Whenever I next go to America, I will, uh, I will do a bit of train spotting. So there will be some Norfolk Southern in there, and maybe some CSX as well. Although I, I prefer Norfolk Southern, if I'm honest. Uh, I just love the livery. CSX is just a bit the. Eh. Although CSX would actually fit well in Britain because they they've got uh, they've got all the uh, rail safety requirements. The yellow front. They've got the yellow front. They've even got in-cab signalling, which most trains in the UK don't have. I think they've got in-cab signalling. I'm not sure, but they, yeah, they've got loads of safety systems that would actually make them legal in the UK. Uh, CSX trains, mainly because they have the LF run. So, yeah, so uh, don't expect any videos soon. I don't know when we're next going to America. 
Uh, very expensive. Very, very expensive. <coughs> Dear me. But uh, next time I do, there'll probably also be some vlogs and stuff. I'm really rambling. I should stop. But I'm having too much fun rambling. I'm in the zone right now. See, it's going out to places like these. It's, it puts you in the zone. When it's quiet... Oh, there's a British Airways Boeing 767. Took a while, but I got there. 767 from British Airways, headed to somewhere extravagant, probably. Uh, yeah, uh, that looks like headed off a of runway 27, and it's not doing a turn yet. So probably somewhere like the west. Uh, probably somewhere in America. You probably can't see that, but I'm I'm probably talking gibberish. Oh yeah, you can. It's just like a, it would look like an insect on your screen, like one of those tiny little moths that goes on your screen because it loves it. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we will see what's next here at Langley. I'm just having too much fun. I can't stop rambling. And now getting ready to pass by is one kilo sixty four. The 1432 Great Western Railway Service from London Paddington to Bedwin, form of a network turbine, as these normally are. And that is form of 166203. From London Paddington to Bedwin on 1 kilo 64. Oh, and we have another thing passing. I like it when things pass. It's fast. This will be 1 Lima 58, the 1432 Great Western Railway Service from Cheltenham Spa to London Paddington. Which will be an H, which will be a HSP. I think. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I think I'm in way of my head on the Great Western Main Line because it's so complicated, so many trains, so many different destinations. It, it's overwhelming. That's a bright light. What is this? Tell me what you are, train. Tell me what you are. One six six on the shopman's okay. Uh, and now getting ready to pass by is one whiskey twenty nine. The fourteen thirty four uh, Great Western Railway uh, service from London Paddington to Worcester, Worcester or Gate Street. This will be really going for it, or slowing down for slow. I don't know. Slowing down for Slough. Right, so as that heads off into the distance and it's next up to Slough, we will see what's next here at Langley. And now getting ready to pass by is the Cheltenham Spa service from earlier, one number 58, the 1432, Great Western Railway service from Cheltenham Spa, I think. No, this is one Alpha 82, the 1439, Great Western Railway service from Paynton to London Paddington. on the back. It was 016 on the back and it looked like double away on the front. Uh, really nice seeing loads of green power cars. Um, obviously there's only four, but 
still. And our next train will be a thing. And we will see it at a time. Right, uh, to update, the Cheltenham Spa uh, was that HSC that passed with the Cheltenham Spa. The ones, the turbine that passed before it was uh, 1 kilo 63, the 1435 Great Western Railway service from Bedwin to London Paddington. That makes more sense in my mind. Anyway, we have a, uh, a passing service due in literally any second now. It's actually quite relaxing being out in, like, it's threatening to storm. But it's not actually storming. Like, this is the sort of weather I like. It's not actually storming that bad. But it's threatening to. And it's got this, this lovely atmosphere. The noise and light and... There's actually, like, distant lightning. The price they're allowing the planes to fly. Uh, anyway, we will see what's next here at Langley. And so now getting ready to pass by is 1 Charlie 18, 1443 Great Western Railway Service from London Paddington to Western Supermare. That sounded... Whoa! That smells so good and sounded even better. Unfortunately, I didn't get the front power car, but the rear was 43153. Ah, you could still... Whoa! It's like causing a mist. DWR, fix your power car. Or don't, because I love it. Ah, uh, it's a nice combination of electrical burning. It, actually, it smells exactly like charging my... It sounded... It smells exactly like my phone charging after I got home from Erith. Yeah, I actually tried to charge it. Call me stupid, but I actually fried the original cable. And the cables that my dad bought uh, to replace are like half as long. It was a great cable. Mainly because it was long. Oh, I can see light. And this is... 1 alpha 32, the 1349 Great Western Railway. No. I can't make out its shape. I'll get it after it's passed because I'm confused. It's a turbo. Which means it's not from Payton. Oh, lightning. I love, love, I love storms. Storm, I, I just love them. That is 166220. On... One Papa 49, the 1444, Great Western Railway Service from Oxford to London Paddington. Appears that the pay, it appears that the Paynton and Penzance services are not running today. Oh well. And passing through is a thing. Pressed the shutter a bit too early, but it was 43029 uh, and something else on the rear that I forgot. But it's the Welshman power car, so there you go. I basically handed it to you if you know which number the Welshman is. I have a rail guide, so I'll be able to look it up. And um, I don't think that's coming from the engines. 
That's coming from the overheads. Shoot. Electrical burning in the overheads. Someone, seriously, fix them. I don't even think these ones are switched on. And now approaching, I can actually hear it from here. Is one email sixty? Oh, that was what I could get. From Cardiff Central to London Paddington. I'll get this in a moment. Couldn't get the front number there. The back of this is 165.183. Right, so the, uh, the, the, tur the turbo is running to November 44, the 1452 Great Western Railway Service from London Paddington to Watson. I've already given the details of the HST, so yeah. And we'll catch this on this departure. And now departing is 165.103. With 2 November 44, the 1450 something, 1452 Great Western Railway Service from the Paddington to Oxford. Next stop for this service with the slab. We will see us next year at Langley on the Great Western Main Line. And now getting ready to pass by is a turbo. I'll get its service details in a moment. Got me a little excited there. I thought there was an HSC ECS coming. Because I've got one on the runners as runners required. On 2 55, the 1448 Great Western Railway Service from Reading to London Paddington. Next stop for that will be either either West Rayton or Hayes and Hindon. And we will see us next year at Langley. Alright, so the weather's gotten bad again. Whoa. But also approaching as a turbo. I think it's stopping, I'm not sure. I'll go over to the other slide. No, this is TMF 56, the 1459. Great Western Railway Service from Oxford to London Paddington. Next up. Running one Bravo 46, the 1457 Great Western Railway Service from London Paddington to Swansea. And we will get, but this is one I hope that my phone hasn't died already. I do not like filming in the rain after what happened at Erith. Ugh. Gives me nightmares. Now passing is the uh, HSC ECS.
working 5 Alpha 10, the 1456 Great Western Railway ENT stock move from Phillips Marsh HST Depot to Old Oak Common HST Depot. And oh, it's brightening up again. Oh, how lovely. I love it when British stuff does this. It's like, oh my god, it's burning. No, it's not. Never mind. Oh my god, it's burning again. Oh no. If you're expecting sunny weather when you come to Britain, don't. Because it's not like this every day. I mean, we've had no rain for ages, and now look. It's basically been a very rainy month this uh, August. So, yeah. Anyway, we will see us next year at Langley. Or, that HST pass could have been 1 Alpha 19, <coughs> the 1459 Great Western Railway Service. Yeah, that's what it was. It was uh, 1 Alpha 19, the 1459 Great Western Railway Service, from Bristol Temple Meads, still in Baddington. Or was it? This is 1 Alpha 19. That was an ECS. This is actually 1 Alpha 19, the 1459 Great Western Railway Service, from Bristol Temple Meads, still in Baddington. But that's a good number. <clears throat> and getting ready to pass by is a freight train. No, actually, what is that? I don't think there's a wagon. I don't think that's a 66. That's because it's a 59 and those are different types of wagons. You do. It's the rain fiddling with my zoom. Anyway, yeah, that I swear that looked like a rail tour for a second. I don't know why, it just did. But anyway, we'll see what's next here in that one. Working 1 Delta 30, the 1504 Great Western Railway Service from London Paddington to Oxford. Uh, sorry about that mad zooming there, I'm just uh, cleaning the function, uh, the, the bits where there are buttons I'm cleaning with. There, this bits of the screen. Getting wet. And now getting ready to pass by from behind is a turbo. This is running. Uh, to Romeo 45 to 1509 Great Western Railway Service from London Paddington to Reading. Seriously, where do they even stop? That thing loves me too much. It's not stalking yet. But that's no one three one loves me too much. That's one thirty. Duh. That's uh one six five one thirty. Off to a thing. Not bad. Uh one six five one thirty off to Reading. Next stop of Slough, I do believe. Yes, next stop of Slough. The only things that skip there are Bedwins and HSTs. Most HSTs. A very small percentage of HSTs stop there. Like the one I'm getting back. <laughs> and now getting ready to pass by as an HST. Uh, and I don't know. 
working one Charlie 19, 15, 12. Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Bristol Temple Mead. Right, so that heads off towards this next stop of Reading. We will see what's next here at Langley. And now getting ready to pass by is 1 Papa 51, the 1513 Great Western Railway service from Hereford to London Paddington. Uh, note this service did not call at Slough because the Slough stops are being done by Cardiff services today for some reason. Unless it turns out that actually approaching is a turbo. No idea what this could be now. But I think this is Hereford. This would be Hereford, I think. Not putting me full of hope, although I'm you know, different sets. <coughs> this is 16628. Not going that far. Anyway. Oh well. Anyway, we will see what is next to show up here at Langley. And now getting ready to pass by from behind is another freight train which will be formed of a shed and some wagons, obviously. I uh, don't know what this is. Uh, but it looks to be a DD cargo rail. Or even full on shanker. The 66 on the front was 66086. And the Hereford train is now passing. I have no idea what the uh, service that came before was. But, yeah. but this is Hereford. Couldn't get us on the front, unfortunately, but on the rear was 43177. Right, on the uh, the, net, the network of the past was Tia Papa 57, the 1517 Great Western Railway service from Reading to London, Paddington. We also have another HSP passing guy. That was running for all, that was running one Charlie eighty six, the fifteen eighteen. First first great Western Railway service from London Pedigree to Ben Sands. No, no no no, the HSC that just passed in the up direction was a Swansea to London Paddington service, uh, so yeah, I got things mixed up, the uh, turbo was indeed Hereford. So anyway, we will see what's next here at Lengla. Okay, I'm getting overwhelmed with the number of HSTs, really please help me. This is a HSC, uh, on 1 Alpha 20, the 1525, Great Western Railway service from Bristol Temple Meads to London Paddington. I think there was a, I'm not sure. Uh, 
just just trust me with it, you know, just just trust me. Uh, anyway, uh, we will be seeing what's next here at Langley, because Langley is the thing with the Dixies. All right, I'm getting ready to arrive now from behind. Is Chili Papa 58, new, 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 to November 46, 1522. First great one. GWR, service. On the turbo, obviously. Running a tad bit behind, but that's due to the uh, adverse weather today. Which is really confusing. Seven from London Paddington to Oxford. And four three zero seven nine with tell me no idea. And also another ID state. That is okay. So the up HST was one alpha twenty, the fifteen twenty five, Great Western Railway service from Crystal Temple, Meath, Liverpool, Paddington. The other HST, the one headed towards uh, its next stop of Slough, was one Bravo fifty eight, the fifteen twenty seven, Great Western Railway service from London, Paddington to Cardiff Central. And we now await our next train, which just so happens to be the one we just saw in the other, the, what, the uh, network that just left in the other direction. In other words, an Oxford service. And now getting ready to pass by is 1 Kilo 68, the 1532 Great Western Railway service, from London Paddington to Bedwin, with the form of another turbo. And also arriving in is Chia Papa 58, 1529, Great Western Railway Service from Oxford to London Paddington. This will be calling at either West Drayton, Hayes and Harlington, South Hall and London Paddington. It is on for five coaches today, because five coaches is what you need. And the front three coaches of this are made up of 165108. Bang up the camera again. And now getting ready to depart is 165108, something else in the rear. With the aforementioned steps on to the automatically. Falling at either the straighten, the armed, the and the border. Well, not really angry because she's not a stalker, but she loves me too much. She, she just adores me, you know. She's she's clingy, but she's not quite a stalker yet. And now getting ready to pass by is an Adelante. 
from London Paddington to Great Morven on one whiskey 31, the 1535 says. Could not get the number on that. Well done, me. That's one whiskey 31, the 1535. Great Western Railway service from London Paddington to Great Morgan. Next stop for that is Slough. Which is also the next stop for me. Right, I think I have plenty of footage from today. And I am going to uh, see you all in the next one. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just going to pack up, take my time, go over to the end of the platform. Um, I mean, do some photography maybe. Uh, but, you know, just relax for the last sort of... 10 minutes, 15 minutes while I'm here. Um, so, uh, Langley has been a brilliant station. Uh, got my hair caught. Uh, brilliant station, I would highly recommend it. Apart from like, there's a fence through the middle of the platform. Uh, never get the point of those. It's not like they're stopping anything. Uh, anyway, uh, so I highly recommend Langley. Um, my next station is Slough from the Great Western Main. Literally, I have, like one or two stops up. I don't know. See the one or three stops. I don't know. Um, so uh, I will see you all in Slough. If you have enjoyed this, uh, what you've seen here at Langley, please do leave a like and a subscribe. And I will see you all in my next episode of Trains That, which will be episode fifty-four of Trains That. We're gonna have a train in the middle of my outro. Uh, I think we are. Right, so if you have enjoyed this, then please do leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you all for episode 54 of Trains at, at Slough on the Great Western Main Line. I'll just get this, then I'll do my fade out. So this is forming. One kilo sixty-five, the fifteen thirty-six Great Western Railway service from Bedwin to London Paddington, and it is formed of a net a, net, a turbo, definitely, but uh, it is formed of one six six. Right, I will see you all in Slough. Goodbye for now.